Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to our podcast, Nothing Millennial About Us. This is your host, Jasra Sokhi, and I'm joined by Ashmit Roy and Nakul Kapoor. Hello. Hello. So, our topic of today is uh, leaders versus managers. And we'll be discussing what are the differences between a good leader and a bad manager and what steps can uh, you take and if, if you are moving into a managerial role to not repeat the mistakes of those be- before you and also what steps uh, you should ensure that you don't uh, become a weak leader in your role. So starting off, uh, I mean, I'm sure everyone of has has experienced a bad manager in their career. There are far too many and unfortunately uh there there's a probability that you have probably faced more, more bad managers in your life than any good leaders and uh, in a in a way it's i think it's the kind of the biggest problem that you might face in your career like most people most people think that getting a good uh, salary hike or a bonus or a new position is the most important thing uh, that drives a career but i feel that uh, the how your manager's uh, relationship with you is is also very critical and uh, it has a far reaching effect on all these other issues that uh, you probably give more precedence in your career and definitely uh, having a good manager will help you far m- much more in getting ahead in your career than your hard uh, just slogging uh, in your office and uh, spending extra amount of time uh, and also like uh, given the fact that uh, many of us have I have been in their careers for a good like seven to eight years now. We'll also be uh, sort of transitioning into that role. And uh, I think we should also probably not repeat those mistakes and uh, try to inculcate uh, better practices and uh, try to change the status quo that was there before you. I think that one of the most important points is that first of all, the team is the team. तो कई बार जैसे कई रोल्स में होता है कि टेक्निकल टीम होती है और आप बिजनेस मैनेजर ले आते हैं तो जो बिजनेस मैनेजर होता है वो टेक्निकल टीम के पॉइंट समझ नहीं पाते तो इवन आप टेक्निकल बैकग्राउंड नहीं है आपका इतना होना चाहिए कि आप उनके इश्यू समझ रहे हैं आप उनको कंट्रीब्यूट कर पाए अगर वहां पे थोड़ा सा मतलब डिफरेंस आ जाता है तो फिर आप कभी भी टीम को प्रॉपर स्ट्रक्चर में गाइड नहीं कर सकते ना आप उनकी प्रॉब्लम समझ सकते हैं ना आप उनको कुछ एडवाइस दे सकते हैं उस पे तो पहले आपको टीम क्या कर रही है उसमें डिसोनेंस नहीं होना चाहिए आपको ये समझ में आना चाहिए कि उनकी क्या प्रॉब्लम हो सकती है काम करते हुए और आप उसमें क्या सलूशन ला सकते हैं और दूसरा जो एम्प्लॉई का डेवलपमेंट है प्रोफेशनली वो भी आपको मतलब बहुत कुछ मैनेजर पे डिपेंड करता है आपको मतलब एम्प्लॉई जब आपकी टीम में जिस लेवल पर थे आपको थोड़ा सा नेक्स्ट लेवल पर ले कर चाहिए इससे एम्प्लॉई का तो फ़ायदा होगा ही आपकी टीम का ही फ़ायदा होगा कि आपकी प्रोडक्टिविटी बहुत बढ़ती है मतलब ये काफ़ी क्लीशे थिंग है लेकिन मैंने देखा है दो मेरे अच्छे मैनेजर्स रहे हैं कि जो उनके अंडर एम्प्लॉई आए थे जो एकदम ही शाए साइलेंट फ्रेशर थे जब तक वो गए तब तक वो काफ़ी वेल ट्रेंड काफ़ी मतलब एटिकेट्स में बढ़िया सॉफ्ट स्किल अच्छी काफ़ी कुछ उनमें इम्प्रूवमेंट हुआ तो इससे ओवरऑल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन को भी इम्पैक्ट पड़ा कि हमें बाद में वहाँ से लीडरशिप आ गई मीडियम रोल मतलब मिडल लेवल मैनेजमेंट के लिए ना कि बाहर से हायर करना पड़ा हाँ आई थिंक मेरे भी जैसे करियर में छः साल के करियर में मैंने पांच मैनेजर देखे फेस करे हैं उनमें से तीन तो मैं कहूँगा काफ़ी अच्छे थे और दो इतने अच्छे नहीं थे और जो सबसे डिस्टिंग्विशन फैक्टर उन इन दो कैटेगरीज में वो यही था कि एक होते हैं जो जो सोचते हैं कि एक मैनेजर एक टीम लीडर का इकलौता काम है कि बस टीम स्मूथली फंक्शन करते रहे कोई इशूज ना आए और जो काम हो रहा है बस होते रहे एक पेस पर जो सेट है बट और उनको लगता है कि उनका बस यही रोल है कि एक ओवरऑल लेवल पे हाई लेवल पे ही बस टीम चलाते रहे और जो भी उनके गोल्स है के पी है वो मीट होते रहे और दैट सेट उनके बाद दे कैन जस्ट गो होम एंड कोई टेंशन नहीं बट जो एक्चुअली गुड लीडर्स होते हैं उनका सबसे पहले होता है कि दे लुक एट ईच एंड एवरी इंडिविजुअल इन देयर ओन वे उनकी स्पेसिफिक इशूज देखते हैं उनको उनसे वन ऑन वन डिस्कशन रखते हैं एंड यू नो इट्स नॉट नेसेसरी कि एक मैनेजर को हमेशा सिर्फ प्रोफेशनल रोल में ही होना चाहिए क्योंकि मेरे एक्सपीरियंस में जो अच्छे लीडर्स होते हैं वो पर्सनल प्रॉब्लम्स में भी काफ़ी ध्यान देते हैं 
और जैसे आपकी लाइफ में यू नो इनफॉर्मल सेंस में आप जैसे मान लो आपके कोई रिलेशनशिप की प्रॉब्लम है या घर पे आपके कोई फाइनेंशियल इश्यूज चल रहे हैं तो अ गुड लीडर शुड बी वन जिसके साथ तुम ये सब डिस्कस कर सकते हो एंड इन दैट वे यू नो इट एम्प्लॉय को भी लगता है कि येस दिस पर्सन रियली केयर्स अबाउट मी सो उनके अंदर एक वो फीलिंग होती है ना कि ओके मे बी इफ ही केयर सो मच अबाउट मी कि मुझे भी कुछ करना चाहिए और आप एक मैनेजर के लिए या टीम लीडर के लिए सबसे ज़्यादा अच्छा कर सकते हो बी अ गुड एम्प्लॉय और अगर सब इस वजह से एफर्ट्स डालते हैं एक अच्छे एम्प्लॉय बनने की तो एंड में टीम की ही ग्रोथ होगी यू नो योर टीम विल बी द बेस्ट परफॉर्मर एंड वही जो एंड में घूम फिर के जो एक मैनेजर का अल्टीमेट ऑब्जेक्टिव तो वही रहता है तो यू नो दैट इन दैट सेंस वो भी अचीव हो ही जाएगा सो यू आर अ गुड मतलब यू शुड बी ट्राई टू बी अ गुड फ्रेंड ऑल्सो इन दैट सेंस डोंट बी लाइक द जैसा अथॉरिटेरियन फिगर की जिनका बस जब इशू प्रॉब्लम्स आ रहे हैं तभी जाके उनको बस अपने एम्प्लॉयज को डांट दिया और आगे बढ़ गए और जब भी जो कोई प्रॉब्लम तभी बात करो उसके अलावा कोई उनको लेना देना नहीं है अपने कॉर्नर ऑफिस में बैठ के यू नो बस कॉल्स ले रहे हैं और कुछ नहीं कर रहे हैं दैट इज ऑल्सो नॉट द सॉट ऑफ द राइट वे टू गो इन दैट सेंस आई थिंक बेसिकली मैनेजर्स आर बाय डेजिग्नेशन लीडर्स आर बाय एटीट्यूड सो इफ यू इफ यू बेसिकली हैव समबडी हुज हु गाइड्स यू टूवर्ड्स योर ग्रोथ एज एन इंडिविजुअल एंड नॉट जस्ट एन एम्प्लॉय दैट समबडी हु क्वालिफाई एज अ लीडर बट समबडी हु बेसिकली कंसिडर्ड ओनली ऑफ दैट फैक्ट कि वॉट इज द वर्क दैट यू डिलीवरिंग एंड इफ इट्स राइट और नॉट और प्लेइंग सम शिटी पॉलिटिक्स यू नो अमंग द टीम मेम्बर्स और एक्सेट्रा दे आर पीपल हु आर बॉर्न एज और ओवर क्वालिफाइड एज मैनेजर्स इन इन टिपिकल कॉपरेट वर्ल्ड देर रोल डजेंट इवॉल्व इन टू लीडर्स दोज पीपल ग्रो एज पर देर एज एंड देर नॉट एज पर देर क्वालिफिकेशन और और कम यू नो डिलीवरेबल्स और वॉट एव दे हैव कमिटेड टू द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो यू विल फाइंड लाइक अनफॉर्चुनेटली और फॉर्चुनेटली आर पॉपुलेशन इज ह्यूज दे आर नॉट इनफ क्वालिफाइड पीपल पीपल फ्राम फैंसी डिग्रीज आर कंसिडर्ड प्रॉब्ली बेटर ऑफ दैन अदर्स बिकॉज दैट्स अ गुड क्वालिफाइंग क्राइटेरिया बट डज दैट मेक दम अ लीडर मे बी नॉट बट डज दैट मेक दम अ मैनेजर ऑफकोर्स येस बिकॉज दे हैव ऑलरेडी प्रूव इन समथिंग so the, you know we can debate on something that they could probably guide you towards you know help you out in your personal way maybe or understand you which which is debatable i i may not understand you on a personal level but because all i care about is the growth of the company and your personal growth so i'll be more considerate about how much are you contributing and and that's how i look at leadership but yeah there has to be some level of empathy towards your team members and that's important but does that mean i'll go and buy you ice cream maybe not Yeah, I mean, of course, uh, that is true. I mean, every person will have their own style of lead leadership and managerial uh, sense. But uh, you know, those are some guidelines. I think that everyone should uh, uh, follow, and especially uh, another distinction that I see is uh, how you treat a good employee versus a underperforming employee. I mean, uh, again, in my experience, what I've seen that uh, when uh, the two kind of people, when there's an underperforming employee, either you can sort of uh, uh, raise a case against them that they're not fit to be part of the team and they require training and uh, some kind of thing that they're pulling the team down. You uh, want them to be transferred out of the team and they are not an asset. So you're basically finding new flaws and problems with that employee. just in an effort to get them out of your uh, uh, problem area you don't want them to associated be uh, be associated with your team because you feel they are just uh, negative uh, influence and uh, your team is probably going to be better off without them but again uh, the other side would be you actually really go down to the depths and find out why uh, that person is not performing well because Uh, the fact that they are in your team probably de- definitely means that they were selected for some reason mm-hmm. i mean they went through the whole uh, hiring process and all so uh, whoever the hr and uh, the, the person who were part of the process definitely saw something in them and that's why they are part of t- your team so there might be some unique <coughs> circumstances probably they don't understand the work that you are say giving them or uh, they have again some other issues that in your in their life so if you probably sit down with them give them more attention and you know sort of make them feel comfortable where they are and always be uh, in a in a helpful position probably they'll also feel confident in their own uh, abilities and try to pull themselves out of this instead of just sort of forcing them to do something you can uh, you should probably encourage them to do better every day no the counterpoint to this is while i agree to all of this the counterpoint to this is that lot of people they themselves don't know why they are doing what they're doing right so if somebody is wasting their own time bullshitting in whatever job they are doing 
I believe that yet they're supposed to be fired. On the contrary, I agree that mm-hmm. as a leader, you should guide somebody to their best. Obviously, everybody has a potential in them. Mm-hmm. You have to figure out what is their best potential and utilize them to their ability. It's the same thing that you know you can't judge a fish's ability on how mm-hmm. long or how high does it does the climb. fish climb the tree, right? Mm-hmm. It's the same story. But uh, I think you know employees who are who basically take their teams for granted. Mm-hmm. who basically want to i think we did a podcast on that mm-hmm. how people waste time having chutta breaks having mm-hmm. what are bullshit people do right i think they should be thrown but i don't believe in Very basically cool. gray keeping things gray if you don't if you somebody is not performing the best part as a leader is you should have a very open conversation uh-huh. saying that this is what is not working out this is way it may be working out try it out for a few weeks few months doesn't work out throw that person out. then there should be no mercy but that's what qualifies as a good leader because by throwing that person out you are probably giving that person a reality check and that person might figure out something better for themselves but if you basically linger on some you know with somebody or with something or whatever that maybe for a longer duration it will just go to basically crop up and go to make things worse but isme ek cheez hai ki jaise apne kaha ki jo jin employees ka performance kharab hai to indian unke paas firing ke liye koi option nahi hota to this is right but kabhi kabhi maine aise cases dekhe hain ki सपोज ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ने आप किसी बाहर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन से किसी को हायर किया जिसके अच्छे क्रेडेंशियल हैं फिर ओवर पीरियड ऑफ टाइम उसके क्रेडेंशियल खराब होते गए फिर उसकी रेटिंग खराब हुई तो जो बीच का ट्रांजेक्शन फेज था तो अच्छे लीडर का रोल ये है कि वहाँ पे उसको आइडेंटिफाई करे कि इम्प्लॉय का परफॉर्मेंस कम हो रहा है और वहाँ पर इनपुट दे कि क्यों हो रहा है अब आप साल के एंड में एकदम से बिकॉज कई लीडर बोल नहीं पाते कम्युनिकेशन स्किल खराब होता है उनका मैन मैनेजमेंट बहुत खराब होता है तो इंस्टेट क्यों सामने फेस करे वो रेटिंग दे देंगे कि इसका एवरेज था बिलो एवरेज था बट तो वो एवरेज की तरफ ज़्यादा था उसका परफॉर्मेंस तो आपने क्या किया तो कुछ ना कुछ तो प्रॉब्लम रही होगी <coughs> तो वहाँ पे एम्प्लॉय को गाइड करना बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट था अगर आप गाइड नहीं कर रहे तो ये बहुत ही पुअर मैनेजर और लीडर की स्किल है और एक और चीज़ तो सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट स्किल लगती है मतलब जो मेरा थोड़ा एक्सपीरियंस है एज ए लीडर कि मैन uh, मैनेजमेंट बहुत ज़्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट होता है कि कई बार ऐसा होगा कि आपके एम्प्लॉयज़ को कुछ फ्लेक्सीबिलिटी चाहिए होगी कि छुट्टी ले ली या घर से काम कर लिया या कुछ इशूज़ है तो वहाँ आपको बहुत ज़्यादा मतलब फ्लेक्सिबिलिटी थोड़ी सी दिखानी पड़ेगी कि वहाँ हो सकता है आप छुट्टी दे दें कभी कभी ऐसा हो सकता है कि आप छुट्टी ना दें आपको फर्म होना पड़ेगा फर्म होना भी बहुत बड़ी क्वालिटी होती है मेरे हिसाब से कि आप बहुत ज़्यादा अगर आप गिव इन करेंगे अपनी टीम के मेम्बर्स की डिमांड को या आपके मैनेजर्स की डिमांड को तो आप दोनों साइड में से कहीं नहीं रहेंगे तो कई बार आपको फॉर्म भी होना पड़ेगा आपको स्ट्रिक्ट भी होना पड़ेगा बट कई बार आपको फ्लेक्सीबिलिटी दिखानी पड़ेगी कि अगर कोई अच्छा एम्प्लॉई है उसको थोड़ा सा वर्क फ्रॉम होम करना है या उसको लीव चाहिए या कुछ उसके इशूज है जल्दी जाना है तो वहाँ थोड़ा सा कंपेशन होना चाहिए उसमें हाँ आई थिंक डेफिनेटली आई मीन लाइक बिकॉज लाइक इन मोस्ट कंपनीज एक पॉलिसी काफ़ी स्ट्रिक्टली लेट डाउन होती है बट यू नो नॉट एवरी पर्सन इज द सेम आई मीन यू शुड आइडेंटिफाई द स्ट्रेंथ्स एंड वीकनेसेज हर इंसान के और कि ये इंसान इस सर्कमस्टाइस में ज़्यादा अच्छा काम करता है या प्रॉब्लम इस टाइप के प्रोजेक्ट में ज़्यादा अच्छा काम करता है तो अ गुड लीडर वुड भी जिसको ये सब पता है वो नोज द इंस एंड आउट्स ऑफ एवरी पर्सन एंड नोज कि अगर इफ दिस पर्सन इज़ नॉट परफॉर्मिंग वेल राइट नाउ फॉर वट एवर रीजन यू नो यू डोंट गिव दम स्ट्रेस टू मच आई प्रॉब्ली ट्राई टू गिव दम अ लिटल लीव है और जो हमेशा से स्ट्रॉग रहा है उनको इनक्रेज करे और एक और होता है कि लाइक एक गुड लीडर का भी ये होता है यू कैन सॉट ऑफ आइडेंटिफाई कि हु इज़ अ गुड employee who is currently under performing and who is just a bad employee i mean jaise nakul kehta hai ki they ki kabhi kabhi fire karna padta hai obviously but wo hota hai ki acha leader hi identify kar sakta hai ki kis employee ko aap help karke unki performance wapas la sakta hai aur koi hai jo sort of purposely ya to underperform kar raha hai ya unki uski skills hi itni nahi hai ki aapke team mein fit aaya to unko probably unko hatana sahi rehta hai us mamle mein so basically i think a good leader identifies who's going to be the rohit sharma of the team and who's going to be virat kohli of the team and who's going to be probably dhoni and pandey of the team right uh, a good ma- i don't know what qualifies as a manager because probably i i, I don't i don't i don't agree to the philosophy of bad manners i if i am the first person to fire somebody who's bad manager i don't basically believe like as if you're leading something then you need to take tough calls and that that's one point but a good leader identifies who's going to play at what spot and what way and that's how you delegate responsibilities and delegate work and you need understanding you know giving coming to the point of flexibility like i have personally been lucky to work in an environment all my life where i have been given that flexibility and i have passed on that flexibility to the team and we worked in literally pretty much flat hierarchy there is no yes sir or boss or whatever so anybody is not coming just you know the information is passed on through whatsapp or to the hr or whatever that may process may be i have not worked in a structured environment where you need to 
seek approval for something like that mm. if you've been performing you can do whatever you want to do yeah everybody has a right to live uh, i think unfortunately a lot of companies work in a setup where you need to take approvals for chutti or mm. need to inf- you need to inform is what i believe and you don't need to take approvals if for whatever that reason may be for whatever however much time may be you know because any emergency that may be coming or you may want to take leave or you are burnt out or whatever that may be i like i have taken leaves where I, there was no reason to take leave but i have mm. not gone away from my work i have ensured that the work is on track even though i may not be in the office that that one and that's how things work today there is no i think we did a podcast on work life balance where i right. said there is nothing called work life balance it's all work life harmony it's the same thing you come you work you don't want to come you work from wherever you want to work as long as the work is work is happening as per the best possible standards of quality and uh, you know <coughs> level uh, i think everything else is cool it's just that you know it has to be both bottom up and you know top down uh, people at the bottom also need to realize that they need to step up and inculcate this kind of culture in the company they can't always be yes sir and yes ma'am type of people however on the same time it's obviously responsibility of the people at the top to inculcate this kind of culture in from from their end uh it's more i think uh, culture is it's not something that is more very tangible so if people you know whoever that may be a leader or an employee or a manager if they believe that they want to bring about a change i think that's the the first step is thinking that you want to get a change and that's how thing you know things start moving i think ek aur hota hai ki jaise jo band manager wo bhi hote hai jaise jo change nahi ho jata abhi jaise you know talking about the point of culture ki they will always be sort of stuck in that old bureaucracy wala system ki subah 9 baje office aana hi hai aur 6 baje tak rehna hi hai aur koi agar kisi wajah se jaldi jaane bhi jata to they like they are more obsessed with those maintaining policies and what is laid down on paper and jo bhi un policies follow nahi karta usse that is branded as a bad employee but you know every day work culture is changing people are more talking about work from home and uh, uh, comp of uh, kind of scenarios where you work on uh, on a holiday and you get a holiday on another day so that kind of these things are very rapidly changing those traditional uh, sitting at office uh, for like 8 hour system is not there anymore but you know again bad managers like i think they are too stuck stuck up about these uh, uh, deadlines and uh, this kind of uh, maintaining a culture of the team rather than uh, just letting people be and uh, they should always be ready to uh, change as times are changing and uh, the new new uh, things are coming in every day and uh, you, you, they should probably uh, change themselves according to that also it's it's kind of flip side bhi hai ki matlab bahut zyada compassionate hote hain kabhi kabhi weak leadership bhi ho jati hai matlab kai sare aise industries hain jahan pe thoda sa aapko team ke sath firm rehna padta hai ya aap bahut zyada leaves allow karte hain ya bahut zyada flexibility allow karte hain to team jo slack karne lagti hai thoda sa unko lagta hai complacent ho jate hain team members ki chalo kaam to chal raha hai sab kuch chal raha hai ले लेते हैं पाँच बजे आते हैं छः बजे आते हैं तो बाद में वो ओवरऑल जो टीम का कल्चर है उसमें आने लगता है तो जब भी आई बिलीव कि जब भी आप खासकर ये तब होता है कि जब आप अपने जो पीयर हैं उनके आप मैनेजर बन जाते हैं जब वो आपके साथ रहें तो कई बार आप बोलने में आपको लगता है कि अरे ये तुम्हें साथ काम किया है या वो टेक इन फॉर ग्रांटेड ले लेता है आपको तो वहाँ धीरे धीरे थिंग्स स्लो डाउन करने लगती है जो कि बाद में क्रॉप अप हो जाती है तो जो अच्छा मैनेजर मेरे ख्याल से वो हमेशा ये देखेगा कि जो भी पर्सनल रिलेशन थे वो अलग है बट प्रोफेशनल रिलेशनशिप अलग होती है तो थोड़ा सा आपको तो टास्क एट हैंड है उसके लिए हमेशा अलर्ट रहना चाहिए कि ऐसा ना हो कि ज़्यादा आप ओवर कंपैशनेट हो जाए क्योंकि बिकॉज वर्क इज़ प्रोफेशनल आप उसमें कोई दोस्ती यारी नहीं निभा सकते सो उसको थोड़ा सा सेपरेट रखना चाहिए हमेशा हाँ ऑफकोर्स मतलब कि वो है कि यू शुड बी लाइक अ फ्रेंड बट नॉट एट द पॉइंट कि आप यू आर रेडी टू लेट दम डू एनी थिंग आई मीन समथिंग दैट इज डेटिमेंटल टू द वर्क ऐसा भी नहीं होना चाहिए देर देर हैज़ टू बी अ सर्टन बैलेंस ऑफ प्रोफेशनलिज्म एंड बींग अ फ्रेंड एंड यू नो दैट इज़ वेयर यू कैन सॉर्ट ऑफ रियली ड्राइव यू नीड टू ड्राइव अ सॉर्ट ऑफ लाइन कि इसके बियॉन्ड आई कैन नॉट डू एनी थिंग फॉर यू एंड यू हैव टू परफॉर्म आई दिस आई कैन मतलब हेल्प यू एट द पर्टिकुलर स्टेज बट इन द एंड दे हैव टू सॉर्ट ऑफ द एम्प्लॉय ऑल्सो हैज टू वर्क फ्रॉम वर्क फ्रॉम इज ओन साइड एंड ट्राई टू कीप इम्प्रूविंग एंड ऑल एंड अनदर एक्चुअली थिंग दैट आई फील इन द इंडियन वर्क कल्चर इज दैट इज लिटल यूनिक इज द होल इंडियन कंपनी वर्सेज एन एम एन सी कंपनी दैट इज इन इंडिया based on my experience and uh, from i've heard from friends there are, i think there's a huge uh, difference in uh, 
both the settings because mostly in mnc companies the work policies have been laid down at a international level and they are very uh, much more stringent about uh, employees being comfortable and happy and in that kind and it's uh, difficult for the managers to impose their own rules while uh, in uh, indian companies uh managers tend to be much more strict and because the hr policies are not uh, laid down that well and people uh, just leave it up to the manager to manage his or her team in their own way i think in, in most cases uh, employees in indian companies are uh, worse off in that sense and uh, they have much more stressful work environment and they have probably have to work a much longer time than uh, given an mnc where uh, if there's a 9 to 5 policy it is much strongly uh, imposed that you don't uh, overstretch the employees and uh, i mean they should be treated as the same as uh, what an employee might be treated like in america or in europe i think basically people it's a you know somewhere uh, responsibility of an employee also to keep a check on on the the way the manager is probably setting up the culture if you basically feel that the way things are moving is not the best way to you know for the company to work you should clearly articulate it to the person responsible i think everybody lives in this fear of job loss yeah. and job safety which is bullshit because one if you are capable enough you will get a job second managers who are toxic who basically believe in number of hours delivered or a number of hours spent in office are insecure about the the way they manage the team that's the bigger problem if you do not believe that your team can deliver from wherever part of the world they are working that means you are a shitty manager thankfully i have i have been lucky to not ever work with such toxic people in life uh, ever since my first job where i graduated from b school i i was working with somebody who was probably 3f 3x 4x of my age and trust me i i went to office twice a week i and i was never asked where i am what am i doing mm-hmm. as long as i was delivering and i was delivering because my work was showing so i have i have always grown up as a professional in that kind of a culture and obviously thanks to that person because and uh, and that's and i was working at oxygen so i don't want to name people here because then it becomes slightly somebody might have an opposing view but i had a great time there so <laughs> so basically the point is i have grown up as a professional in that way so i i never take bullshit from anybody now thankfully i'm in a position where i can slightly define the culture i can i can i can see the way company grows so i but i would certainly expect and i would certainly respect if somebody comes and tells me the way i am also doing things are wrong maybe i'm not saying i'm god but i believe in freedom i believe as long i believe in productivity i believe in the work getting delivered i don't want to know if you were in you know you know bahamas i am concerned i as a professional i'm concerned about work and that's what matters ah i definitely was uh, I, this is very important what you said that employees also should uh, and you just stop facing just the problems and never actually stand up against them and sometimes i have also seen that the managers don't even know that they're doing a bad job at what they're doing i mean if no one ever says anything to them they just assume that uh, it, everybody everyone is a gold uh, golden period and everything is going smooth and well and uh, the team might be really uh, fucked up and uh, under mental stress but the manager is just seeing the uh, top level numbers and everything is going well i mean uh, there is definitely a fear that uh, if you are the first one to complain that uh, uh, the manager will turn against you and you will suffer for the uh, whatever time you are there and uh, but sometimes you know that's the call that you have to take is your manager that kind of person who's ready to take feedback or he's just going to act like an asshole and uh, get after your life after that and uh, make trouble for you but i've definitely seen that sometimes you just have to say it that you know you don't feel comfortable doing this and the, uh, the manager again that's again another distinguishing factor A leader will definitely understand that okay maybe he messed up in certain way and uh, another bad manager would just assume that the just the employee just complaining because he himself cannot do the, his or her job and uh, the, the problem is not with them so again that is another way that you can you know a good manager will always be right open for feedback ye cheez maine kafi dekhi hai ki jo apne kaha ki do team mein do issues hote hain kai managers identify nahi kar pate maine aise dekhe hain jo total oblivious to fact ki team kya kya problem face kar rahi hai agar team ka output sahi hai to wo kafi cheeze willfully ignore kar dete hain theek hai ho raha hai but kaam to ho raha hai kaam ho raha hai iska matlab sahi ho raha hai sab kuch to wo cheeze baad mein erupt karti hai ekdam se ki do kisi employee ka ekdam se backlash aaya resign kar diya usne ya kuch outburst ho gaya फिर वो चीज़ें आउट ऑफ कंट्रोल हो जाती हैं फिर वो आपके ऊपर भी जाएगा सब कुछ होगा वहाँ पे। तो वो टीम का कल्चर भी ख़राब हो जाता है तो गुड मैनेजर की एक ये भी साइन है कि अगर आउटपुट अच्छा हो रहा है सब कुछ अच्छा हो रहा है बट ये भी देखना चाहिए कि आउटपुट क्या ऐसा नहीं कि किसी पर्सनल इंडिविजुअल की कॉस्ट पे आ रहा है 
तो क्या पर्सनल इश्यूज़ हैं सिर्फ नंबर ड्रिवन नहीं होना चाहिए कि नंबर अगर सही है तो सब कुछ सही है तो जो पर्सनल कॉस्ट है जो पर्सनल चैलेंजेस फेस कर रहे हैं आपके टीम मेम्बर ये जरूर पता करना चाहिए नॉट ओनली फॉर हिस हर सेक अपने सेक के लिए भी अगर वो चाहता है कि उसकी टीम लॉन्ग टर्म में सही रहे और कोई इश्यूज ना आए उसको भी तो जो भी उसके इश्यूज है इम्प्लॉय के वो समझना बहुत जरूरी है बेसिकली हैव सम एम्पथी टूवर्ड्स योर टूवर्ड्स योर टीम मेंबर्स एंड आल्सो लिव एंड एक्टिव एज ह्यूमंस नॉट मशीन या या 100% या ऑन दैट सेंस या आई थिंक दैट वाज गुड डिस्कशन एंड जस्ट टू कंक्लूड आई विल जस्ट से दैट इफ आई मीन यू मेनी पीपल वुड हैव फेस बैड मैनेजर बट I mean, don't let that sour your entire career. I mean, you should just learn and grow f- from there, and you should try to make sure that when you are in that same position after a couple of years, you don't repeat the same mistakes. Always be, as Nakul said, be um, uh, show empathy towards your employees, and just because the ship is running well doesn't mean everything is good under the hull. Mm. I mean, always be op- uh, asking people what are the issues, what are the problems. Have an open uh, communication channel with uh, everyone, and be always be ready to uh, get feedback. Even if someone says uh, something really bad about you, that doesn't mean that that person is uh, lying. There might be some half a lie or half a truth uh, in that, and mm. you have to find out uh, that uh, if, is that the only person who's facing that. And also, when it comes to uh, your juniors. I mean, again, uh, don't uh, just uh, outcast a bad performer. Find out why the why this is happening. Whether there's something, whether you can get that person back to a good uh, where he was, he or she was there before, or he's just a bad employee and has to be sort of fired. So you know, always learn from everything that you've seen. I mean, something that that has happened bad uh, with you in your office is only an experience that you can learn from and be better in uh, in the times coming ahead and. You know, if your uh, uh, team culture is not good, make sure that after a couple of years, you are the one to make it better. Uh, on that note, uh, thank you everyone for listening in. Uh, have a good day. Bye. Subscribe. <laughs>